Hi, this is Elisa Cho, Shanghai reporter for Mobile World Live, coming to you from Wing Wing Live. Today, we are joined by two distinguished guests who will take us through their 5G journey and reveal how the technology will evolve to 5G advanced. Let's welcome Xiao Dengyuan, HKT CTO. James Chen, President of Global Sales Department, Huawei. Sheldon, so what was HKT's strategy on the deployment of 5G? 5G is a very uh, complex technology. When we're talking about 5G, he's talking about a lot of different spectrums and a lot of different uh, vertical markets, different industry. So in order uh, to make the 5G uh, strategy success, so our strategy is focusing on a lot of different areas. First of all, we need a very accurate uh, understanding of our customer. And then according to their requirement, we will have an accurate network planning and then to deploy the network gradually, one by one, step by step. And then after one piece of the uh, network is complete the deployment, then we need to have an accurate marketing to ensure our customer know what we are providing to them and then the last but not least, the most important part is the accurate uh, calculation of the time to return of all the investment. That can make sure we can have a continual uh, info of the uh, resources to and make sure the investment can continue over time. What are HKT's challenges on the way of achieving 5G business success? As I just mentioned, um, the major challenge in the whole 5G uh, success will be in how to invest different technology or over time gradually and the right time to invest is very important. In HKT, we have uh, separate our whole investment investment into uh, different years of uh, info of the um, resources. In uh, At the very beginning, we have to, and when the customer just pick up of the whole traffic, we cannot invest in all the frequency band in one go. So we put the investment in the uh, 2100 for we farming one layer of the 5G to ensure all the customer can taste what is 5G in the very beginning. And then after we have the uh, first um, segment of people, they come into the, our 5G network. We already got the initial uh, return of our investment. Then we start to invest in other C-band layers to make sure the customer, when the traffic is growing, the number of customers increasing, the whole network experience can go hand in hand with the customer expectation. And after we have sufficient um, return from the whole base of the customer, then actually, actually Hong Kong HKT in a 2023, we have to start to invest a lot of invest, 5G investment in the indoor solution. Because of indoor is very important. Around 80% of our traffic actually is come from the indoor environment. So um, we are very lucky we have, we have quickly uh, finished the initial investment in the general coverage so that nowadays we can already have sufficient resources to invest in the indoor to ensure we can continue to build our 5G network. And James, how does Huawei help customers build leading 5G networks? Are there any stories about the cooperation with HKT that you want to share with us? Okay, well, there's uh, lots of stories to be shared. Huawei is always committed to providing leading and competitive solutions to our customers. Over the past 20 years of cooperation with the Hong Kong team, Huawei remained customer-centric and continues to innovation to meet our customer requirements. So since Hong Kong team officially announced its commercial use of 5G in April 2020, we have helped them to deploy 5G networks that now cover the whole entire Hong Kong. Through scientific and accurate planning, and smoother deployment. We have always had to achieve the goal of ROI within three years. Three years is a really amazing figure. During this process, Huawei not only provide leading 5G technologies and products, but also we provide professional service to our customers. We made implementation plans together with the Hong Kong team, and we support the plan exact execution based on the final service scenario and the objectives, for example, Together with Hong Kong team, we have deployed the optimization solutions for the indoor, MTR, country park, and many other scenarios. 
5G is very important for both today and tomorrow. The future use of new spectrums and the continuous evolution of 5G standards will further unleash the potential of 5G. Huawei will continue to innovate and provide cutting-edge solutions to serve Hong Kong team more efficiently and more professionally. And Sheldon, how does HKT consider ev evolution from 5G to 5GA? What is your plan for deployment of 5GA key technology? Mm. I think uh, 5G is very amazing technology and it uh, commit to a, a few important uh, characteristics for the mobile uh, users. The first one is the high speed, very high speed uh, com uh, commitment. And this commitment, I would say in 5G era, is almost fulfilled already. You can easily achieve more than one gigabit per second communications already. And uh, another two uh, area, which is talking about the ultra reliable, low latency uh, communication, and all those, so the um, MMTC, the, the massive machine communication, these two parts is uh, still um, quite disappointing up to this moment. So um, from Hong Kong Tea prospect, I would expect there will be a lot of breakthrough in the URL, LLC and MMTC area in the 5G A era. And of course, for the um, high speed uh, communications, we also expect it will continue to evolve to uh, more than 10 gigabit per second communication for downlink and for uplink you can achieve one gigabit um, per second communications. The reason behind why I'm driving for all these different uh, improvement in the uh, 5GA, the reason be behind, of course, is uh, we, we can see that there's a very big business opportunity at the back. Okay, so uh, we can see that uh, the, a lot of technology around us, like the uh, AI, Web 3.0, all these technology coming in, all require very huge bandwidth in both uplink and downlink. And also a uh, very short latency, in terms of a lot of gaming requirement. And later on, uh, like telling um, medical kind of applications all require us uh, to deploy this kind of special uh, uh, technology. So my plan uh, to ensure we can evolve successfully from 5G to 5GA, first of all, the most important part will be coverage. So what is the right coverage we can provide this technology? So what I'm thinking is uh, for the traditional, um, sub 6G uh, frequency and also the C band actually will be quite utilized in for the 5G applications. So 5G A, we need to find new spectrum for wider bandwidth. So I will recommend the millimeter wave will be a one key technology that we need to deploy in coming years. And James, what is Huawei's progress in 5G advanced? 5G advanced have shift from the vision to reality now. The vision was first proposed back in year 2020. By year 2022, the end-to-end -end industry chain was more mature. Now, all the frequency bands are evolving to 5G or 5G advanced. And this lays a foundation for its global commercial use in year 2024. From the Internet of People, Internet of Things, or IoT, industrial utilization, to Internet of Vehicles, the connectivity services are increasingly mature and creating many business opportunities in terms of the Internet of People, the 10 gigabit per second experience has been verified in many countries around the world. Arch high speed rate will rename, enable, enable operators to transform from a traffic modernization to experience monetization. New business models based on speed rate Latins and uplink experience have become a trend. Hybrid operators implement experience monetization in terms of the IoT. The red cap creates a blue ocean mark for 5G media and the high speed IoT service. As passive IoT for low speed IoT service, supporting hundreds of billions of IoT connections. So the application of 5G advance is being accelerate in many industries and scenarios, and more than 10,000 manufacturers are expected to be connected by 2025. Regarding industry digitalization, we provide a very active service and encourage the cloud, device, storage, computing, security, and applications based on high-quality connections, as well as the provide line 
provide private network service, and we also provide coverage, converge provide line plus X service for small and medium-sized enterprise to implement industry digitalization. While facilitating operators' 5G business success, we also help them build the second growth curve for more revenue. Thank you, gentlemen, for a fascinating insight into the 5G journey. We've heard how one of Hong Kong's leading mobile operators is preparing for future success, and we've gained an understanding of how HKT's partnership with Huawei is key to a 10 gigabit per second success. Thanks for joining us today at Win Win Life. Catch you next time. Bye. Bye.